This video should make uh, the Vapors TV slash Michael Stanley, whatever his last name is, slash Anthony slash Vapors slash whatever vape shop they have in regards to that Food and Drug Administration complaint number five more real to you than ever before. I've been trying to tell you, you need to at least put this nicotine warning on your website. You have corrected the trademark violations, but that is about it. You, you took out uh, something in regards to um, uh, that they're able to try before they buy these particular uh, e-liquids, though, of course, the last video I just put up in regards to Vapors TV just contradicted that. Anyway, the point is, is the FDA and the FTC, the Food and Drug Administration, and the Federal Trade Commission just went after four companies in regards to this nicotine warning. It's real, guys. It's not like it's fake, like I'm, I'm bringing fake news to you, like all these other fucking asshole uh, YouTube channels, like Grim Green and the rest of Ruby Rule and the rest of these shitheads. So this is an FDA news release. June 7, 2019, it says FDA, FTC take action to protect kids by citing four firms that make, sell flavored e-liquids for violations related to online posts by social media influencers on their behalf. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the Federal Trade Commission today issued warning letters to four firms that manufacture, advertise, and offer for sale or distribution several flavored e-liquid products for violations related to online posts by social media influencers on each company's behalf, including failure to include the required nicotine warning statement. The warning letters are just one aspect of the FDA's youth tobacco prevention plan designed to limit youth access to all tobacco products with a particular focus on youth e-cigarette use. This is acting FDA Commissioner Ned Sharpless, MD, states, years of progress to combat youth use of tobacco is now threatened by an epidemic of e-cigarette use by kids. And unfortunately, research shows many youth are mistaken or unaware of the risks and the presence of nicotine in e-cigarettes. That's why it's critical we ensure manufacturers, retailers, and others are including the required health warning about nicotine's addictive pro properties on packages and advertisements, especially on social media platforms popular with kids. Under my leadership, the FDA will continue to tackle the troubling epidemic of e-cigarette use among kids. This includes limiting youth access to and appeal of flavored tobacco products like e-cigarettes and cigars, taking action against manufacturers and retailers who illegally market these products or sell them to minors, and educating youth about the dangers of e-cigarettes and other tobacco products. We cannot and will not risk a generation of youth to a lifetime of nicotine addiction. We appreciate the FTC joining us on these and other actions to protect youth from, da from the dangers of nicotine and tobacco products. Now we know exactly where Sharpless st stands at. He is against vaping. He's going to come after your ass, just like Gottlieb did. Of course, Gottlieb was lax in a lot of areas until the very last month or so, until he got booted pretty much out of his position. But now you know where fucking that uh, Sharpless st stands at. He ain't taking no shit either. So it says social media influencers are individuals with a large number of online followers that often help to promote products on behalf of certain brands or companies. Through social media sites such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, influencers are on behalf of, and you see it, and I'll get to them in a moment, posted content touting the flavored e-liquid products or recommending their social media followers try the products without including the required nicotine warning statement. The FDA has determined that the e-liquid products labeled and or advertised on behalf of the companies in these social media posts or in two cases on the company's own social media accounts are misbranded because they fail to include the statement Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. A requirement that the FDA has enforced since August 10, 2018. 
the FTC join the FDA on the warning letters under Section 5 of the Federal Trade Commission Act, which prohibits unfair or deceptive advertising. I told Vapors TV that it is misbranding. Maybe they'll put that fucking warning on there, on their website. It doesn't take very much to put that onto your website. And then it goes on and on a little bit more. And we'll get to that in a moment. It says from April 2018 through April 2019, the FDA issued more than 3,950 warning letters and more than 665 civil money penalties to brick and mortar and online retailers for illegal sales of electronic nicotine delivery system and the e-liquid products to minors. The FDA also took actions in conjunction with FTC against more than 15 firms for selling e-liquids that resemble kid-friendly foods, such as juice boxes, cereal, and candy. And the FDA continues to investigate whether companies are introducing new e-cigarettes in violation of pre-market authorization requirements. Yes, he continues to investigate. And I'm sure I'm one of them. I'm one, of, one of my complaints are actually being investigated, believe, believe it or not. The, but we won't go there. Anyway, and then they talk a little bit more and a little bit more. Then you go over to the Center for Tobacco Products News and pretty much says the same thing. Uh, now let's go to the warning letters. So the first one went out on June 7th, 2019. That's today. Hype City Vapors. Let's go to them. It's in California. And it says uh, FDA, FTC recently reviewed the Facebook account of Jay Shrek. Too bad it's not Jay Hayes. But anyway, right now it's Jay Shrek. Containing social media posts with labeling and or advertising for e-liquid products on behalf of Hype City Vapors. And determined that the e-liquid products listed there are manufactured, advertised, and offered for sale and distribution to customers in the United States. They're, they're going not only after websites, but they're also going after social media, which is good. Because there's a lot of bullshit on social media. Especially YouTube. Eventually they're going to catch up to YouTube as well. The FDA has determined that two e-liquid products manufactured, advertise, and offer for sale and distribution to customers in the United States by Hype City Vapors LLC with labeling and or advertising on behalf of Hype City or misbranded because the labeling and or advertising and social media posts on your behalf regarding these e-liquid products fails to include the required nicotine warning statement for these e-liquid products. Now, this is on social media. It's definitely required on websites. And they even post exactly everything here. Mm -hmm. See all this stuff? And we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Who knows if this is this e-liquid this guy here has is made in a freaking bathtub. Who knows? Who knows where it's made at? It's all bullshit anyway. And then it goes on and on. And then unfair and deceptive marketing. They work hand in hand with the FTC. I've been telling you guys for some time that. says, if your company has a material connection to someone endorsing your products, that relationship should be clearly and conspicuously disclosed in the endorsements unless the relationship is otherwise apparent. To be both clear and conspicuous, the disclosure should use unambiguous language and stand out. Consumers should be able to notice this disclosure easily and not have to look for it. For example, 
Consumers viewing posts in their Instagram streams on mobile devices typically see only the first two lines of a longer post unless they click more, and many consumers may not click more. Therefore, an endorser should disclose any material connection above the more button. In addition, where there are multiple tags, hashtags, or links, readers may just skip over them, especially where they appear at the end of a long post. They, they understand even social media. You guys are not going to put anything over the FDA and FTC. You're a bunch of little petty criminals, I tell you. And then we'll go to the next one. Let that load. Loading now. I am loading. I'm loading the page. Let's go to these characters. Solus Vapor out of California again. This is on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And pretty much the same thing. They failed to include the nic nicotine warning, so it's misbranded. They got, see, they got it all shown here. All shown. This little lady here, Pandora Blue. Mm -hmm. And on and on it goes, same thing. Let it load. I've seen Humber Juice before. I never bought their product, but I've seen that once again out of California. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And they also have the FTC and the FDA has power over YouTube. Eventually, they're going to come after YouTube eventually. They're, but these are actually individuals that manufacture their own e-liquids. Showing you this and showing you that. And I got it all figured out. I'll do one more here. And then over here. Fortis Liquid Labs. Some of these I haven't even heard of. Instagram, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook. Same, pretty much the same thing without the required warning statement. And on and on it goes, and they show you the pictures. They know exactly what's out there. Believe me, don't think you're putting anything over the FDA or FTC's eyes. One thing, they're as human as anyone else. They think just like humans. Don't think that they're like, you know, I don't know what you guys think them, them as, but they're as human as anyone else, and they think, and they will find all this stuff. The key to hear is on this particular statement is that finally, finally, after some time here, Acting FDA Commissioner Ned Sharpless, MD, actually speaks. So I'm going to read his line and end this video. If I was Vapors TV, Vapors1.com, Vapors, whatever you want to call your company as, you better put that damn nicotine warning on your Vapors1.com website because they're coming after you. And believe me, they're coming after you. Says years of progress to combat youth use of tobacco is now threatened by an epidemic of e-cigarette use by kids. And unfortunately, research shows many youth are mistaken or unaware of the risks and the presence of nicotine in e-cigarettes. That's why it's critical we ensure manufacturers, retailers, and others are including the required health warning about nicotine's addictive properties on packages and advertisements especially on social media platforms popular with kids. Under my leadership, the FDA will continue to tackle the troubling epidemic of e-cigarette use among kids 
This includes limiting youth access to an appeal of flavored tobacco products like e-cigarettes and cigars, taking action against manufacturers and retailers who illegally market these products or sell them to minors, and educating youth about the dangers of e-cigarettes and other tobacco products. We cannot and will not risk a generation of youth to a lifetime of nicotine addiction. We appreciate the FTC joining us on these and other actions to protect youth from the dangers of nicotine and tobacco products. I guess that little talk with Dick Durbin, Senator Dick Durbin, actually paid off. Sharpless finally got off his tuchus and is actually taking action in his own name. And on that point, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.